Welcome to Many Roads, No Rules. My name is Adriana, and stress was a friend I didn't need in my life anymore. So I decided to take the path to peace. Come with me. Let's go smell the roses together. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So, after visiting that gas station with all the Martians and everything, and uh, I'm going to the Recycled Trash Museum and Mercury, I thought, this is a beautiful area to explore a little bit further. So, I decided to take a couple of days out of my routines here in, in Perump. So I went all the way 160 north up to 95 and instead of going the the regular loop shows you the way through uh, from Las Vegas through the extraterrestrial highway 375 all the way th uh, to the area 51 so I did the other uh, kind of loop I went along 95 and I crossed the towns of Bidi and Gold, Goldfield, uh, beautiful places with a lot of mining history. Very interesting. I will show you some photos of that. And then I overnighted at a BLM, a little piece of land that is just uh, a pull out. A, by the road, but it was very quiet at night because nobody drives, drives there. And then the following day, I did take a high, the extraterrestrial highway. So beautiful, so weird. So out of nowhere, you don't see another vehicle for long periods. So it's interesting. And I did a, a small stop at the town of Rachel, which is just a group of mobile homes, nothing significant, but it's the closest town to Area 51 in as the crow flies. So it was interesting. I had an alien burger. I will show you more about that. And then I attempted to approach Area 51 and then I came back to Las Vegas and uh, Paramp. So it's a long journey. Let me show you the whole thing. Uh, there are some beautiful images there. One thing you have to be careful with is along the way in the middle of nowhere eventually you see some yellow signs with a cow because it is a free range area, so cows can be anywhere. And so there are several signs along the way with those cows alerting you that a cow may be crossing. Just know cows do not respect those signs. They do not cross where the sign is. They cross wherever they want. So be careful with that if you go there. Let's go and see the video. At the beginning of my journey, I took a detour to visit Lida in Nevada. Lida is a ghost town uh, that is up in the mountains. Now, there were a couple of issues and I just uh, took a couple of photos from the car because the ghost town actually rests on private property so you cannot really go there and it had been snowing so it was actually cold so i just took a couple of photos that i want to show you here Turn right. 
800 feet, turn left. Turn left, then continue straight. My next stop was the town of Goldfield. It was very prosperous since 1903 through the 40s. They produced about 86 million dollars in gold. Gold prospecting is still happening around town. The town was burnt down in 1923 and there are many historic buildings that you can visit. My next step was the town of Tonopah. Apart from having lunch in Tonopah, there was only one attraction I wanted to see, but I was not sure if I was going to be able to stomach that, because I find it really creepy. 
So you just keep going down the main street and eventually you get to the newly renovated Clown Motel. I know it's new, I know it's very shiny and beautiful and all those things, but just being in the parking lot gave me the creeps. Last night, I camped or parked uh, at the intersection of roads 376 and Highway 6 in Nevada, uh, just to be ready this morning to go to Area 51. And this is just like a parking lot, not much more than that. Continue on Nevada 376 North for 10 miles. Take the next left onto US 6 East. right onto Nevada 375 South, State Highway 375. Continue on Nevada 375 South for 79 miles. Like an angel. 
And yes, it was the town of Rachel in Nevada, the closest town to Area 51. So it's just like about 20 miles or so. And everything in the little inn is about recreating this fantasy of the aliens. But they themselves, they are down winders, meaning they were subject to radiation and they may still be. So it takes a lot of courage to live here. And I had read about their amazing alien burger. So even though it was a little earlier in the day, I thought I have to try one because, hey, how many times in your life do you get to have an alien 
burger. Sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we Drifting away from each other, didn't wanna let you go. Oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things, and I have to do with it. But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted it to the next level cause I wanted that great love like standing in the middle of a bonfire you don't know how you got there but you hold tight knowing that you can't get burned just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know and tell me how we messed up drifting away from each other didn't want to let you go July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind
people leave beer and letters and all sorts of things in this mailbox uh, for aliens in case they want to come and gather their mail. But this is the only indication that you're right at the entrance of the road that takes you to Area 51. The people who work at Area 51 get there by planes uh, that sh take off from Las Vegas and that are all white with just one red stripe across the windows with no wording and they come by plane. Nobody actually drives these long road in. It is really washboardy. I can tell you I didn't get to the end of it because I didn't feel like confronting the guys at the entrance, the cameo guys. They are very firm at making you understand you cannot go in. So since this is getting a little long, we are going to finish this video next week and I am going to let you hear what a person told me right here on this road. So please come here next week. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we. He...